So in today's video, we are talking about the top 10 best and newest NADN app integrations that have been recently released. So on the integrations page on NADN, you'll notice there's just a freaking ton of integrations. And I actually made a video about this six months ago, but I want to refresh this because there's been so many things that have been released since then. And chances are you probably don't want to spend your precious time going through all these apps just to find the golden nuggets in here. And so for that reason, I've created this video. Now, before we dive into all these app integrations, I just want to point out here that if you do not see this inside your NADN instance, what you have to do is update your NADN environment. So you hit this cloud at the bottom left, the admin panel, and you'll go over to manage. You'll change the NADN version down here and then click save. And then every single app that I'm showing you in this video will be accessible to you. So with that being said, let's dive in. The first one is Comet API, which gives us access to over 500 different AI models. Literally every single model that you'd ever want to use is going to be available to you pretty much from within Comet API. You can do things like generate videos like this. Now this was actually generated using VO 3.1 Pro and that's just one of the many models they have access to. So if you wanna do things like foul analysis or vision, like where you see within images, or if you wanna deal with audio or images or video or speech to text or whatever the case may be, it's all gonna be here. Now, keep in mind, this is a paid platform. You do need to add $10 of credits to your wallet to be able to use this. But yeah, instead of subscribing to a hundred different subscriptions, you can get it all in one place using Comet. API. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is free and it's Firecrawl. And this is a great way to be able to web scrape any data that you want. So in this example, I'm going to use my AI automation agency, but what we can go ahead and do here is plug in the URL and Firecrawl uh, is going to be able to pull out all of the data on this particular page. Now you can pull out handles like for instance, uh, social media handles, you can pull out maybe lead generation information like emails or phone numbers, or you could use this data to summarize it to send off like a cold personalized email. So there's just a lot of different examples that you can use here. Another use case for file crawl is maybe you don't want to just gen you, you don't want to just web scrape one page, but maybe you want to go through all the pages like career and pricing and services and quote and call. And so what you can do is you can scrape every single page on a particular website and pull out all of the URLs there. And the last thing that I want to talk about in terms of fire crawl is that you can also search the web. So you could search things like, of course, the web, images, news. I just put in a query here for SEO and it pulled out two results just because I put the limit as two here. And so that's another great use case. Now, in addition to fire crawl, I wanted to lump in this a software called full and rich here because I didn't want to include it just as its own category. But essentially what you can do here is you can enrich data on particular leads. So I created a fabricated lead here called Sarah Mitchell from brightwavetechnologies.co. Um, and essentially I need to find her email and phone number. And so what I did was I used this app, which is free to get started and it can help me find things like the email and phone number. And how this works is it actually aggregates 20 different lead generation or lead and enrichment platforms together, like Hunter, like Clearbit, like Contact Out, like Wizza, like Dog, uh, Jima. I don't think I <laughs> pronounced that correctly at all, but uh, yeah, it can pull up information from that site as well. And so in a nutshell, what you can do is you can grab that info and it will return it back to you, like the phone number or the email and all that kind of stuff. And so this is a great way to pull up contact information if you need it. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is let's say you uh, web scraper website, you pull lead generation info and you want to message these people because maybe you want to do some lead gen. A great option here is using the platform Magnetite. And so what it allows you to do is generate full-blown lead magnets online. So take a look at this, for example, let's say you're running an SEO agency and you want to find leads online. You want to give them an SEO audit of their website programmatically without spending the two to three hours going into every single lead, creating a document like this, and then sending it off. So you can auto automatically do this. And I think this is super cool because this is actually a business idea I had like three years ago. It's like, man, if you could create automated lead gen, uh, lead magnets, this would be so cool. And so what you can do here is put together all of this kind of stuff. You can even add in things like images down here. So for instance, maybe you have case studies that you want to put on there. I just threw this together, for example, being like, hey, we got other people to rank one on Google. And if they like the, the offer, then they can go ahead and book an appointment on your calendar. And so these, uh, you know, 
you can go ahead and generate programmatically from within it. And they even have sliders over here being able to say, hey, if you work with us, this is the kind of estimated potential that we can bring to the table for you. Now, just one cool other thing that I wanna point out here is inside Magnetite AI, and you can get started for free here, you can customize this quite a bit. And so you can customize the research agent that goes into researching that company before creating this lead magnet. You can go ahead and customize it however you want and you can configure it. So there's a lot of customization here, but what I really like about this is the fact that they also have these research tools that they give you access to and so with these research tools you can do additional things to enrich that lead magnet to provide the best outcome for that potential prospect or lead so a couple of examples would be in this case I could run an SEO health check on that company and I could pull out like core web vitals and backlinks and technical issues and then put that into the lead magnet I could also do a page speed anal analyzer or a tech scanner of the you know, tools like maybe they're using WordPress or Wix or whatever the case might be. And so there's a lot of different options here to get the best outcome. Now, moving past Magnetite here, the next two things that I want to talk about, which I've merged together is Instantly and HeyReach. And so these are two outreach platforms. One is for cold email, which is Instantly over here. And the next is for LinkedIn outreach. And so what you can do is you can add leads into these two campaigns. So for example, maybe you use Firecrawl or maybe you use Full Enrich to find leads, you generate leads lead magnets using something like Magnetite up here, and then you send off an email or a cold LinkedIn message using these two platforms over here. And so with Instantly, what you can do is you can create full-blown email campaigns for cold outreach and then send these off to people. And with something like HeyReach, you can do the same thing, but instead this time, this is for LinkedIn. And so for instance, in this case, what you can do is you can add in your email, your LinkedIn inboxes. You can have multiple senders, for example. Let's say you have multiple people on your team you can do that you can import in quality leads and you can even combine LinkedIn steps to add in things like potentially delays or liking posts and all that kind of stuff and then you can manage all of your replies from a unified box and so I thought those are really two really cool uh, potential software apps that you can use for outreach. So I wanted to include that in this video. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is a tool called Winston AI, which allows you to uh, detect AI and also plagiarism as well. And so we have three examples. First is AI generated content. Second is content I created myself. And then thirdly, we have a plagiarism checker. So I've gone ahead I've generated this AI content here, and let's take a look and see how it rates that content. It's not perfect every single time, but essentially the score is 0.44. Now, one means it's human written, zero means that it's probably AI written, and then this got a score of more likely leaning towards AI. And so it goes through sentence by sentence, and then it provides a score, then it aggregates everything together. And so in this case, it was pretty good at defining that that was probably written by artificial intelligence then I went ahead and I generated my own kind of text on the same topic and then I ran it through Winston AI again and this time it got a score of 99.47 percent meaning that this is almost guaranteed to be written by a human and again it goes through every single sentence here and gives it a score and yeah so it does a pretty good job at differentiating between AI written content and then human written content as well and the last thing that I also think is super cool is that you can programmatically check for plagiarism online so I literally just copied in the this um, excerpt from Wikipedia over here on Canada. And it did a pretty good job at defining that this was definitely plagiarism. So 100%, this was plagiarism. That's the score they gave it. And that's right, because I just copied it over from Wikipedia. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is Cloud Convert. And I think this is a super useful and handy tool because from within NADEN, you can do things like extract uh, data from different files and you can convert data types like to CSV, HTML, JSON and so on and so forth but this doesn't have all of the outcomes that you may be looking for and what we can do is use a tool called cloud convert and so what I'm doing in this particular example is I'm downloading a PDF file okay and so this is just kind of what it looks like here I have a sample invoice and what I'm doing is I'm converting that into a docx file or a Microsoft Word file and so this is a really handy way to convert whatever file it is that you're looking for and there's just literally a million different file types in here like 90% of these I've never even heard before like OGG never heard of it have no idea Emma MXF never heard of it MTS no idea but it, there's so many options here for you to go ahead and choose from 
So in case you're ever looking to convert stuff, that's definitely a really nice place to start. The next thing is Blotato, and this is a paid app, but essentially what you can do with Blotato is auto publish to all of your social media platforms. So again, I'm taking a picture off of uh, Google Drive here, and then I'm gonna upload it to Blotato. So I'm uploading the media, and then I'm publishing that media online. And so here's an example of an, a post that I made on X, and then here's a, an example of a post I made on LinkedIn. And so with this post here, you can see that I got 18,000 impressions on a simple five minute post where I literally just uploaded a picture, I gave a nice caption, and this is something that you can completely do using a tool called Blotato. This is a very simplified version of how you'd Use this inside and it end, but I just wanted to showcase what is possible using a tool like that. The next thing that I want to include in here is called Twitter Shot. And this is just something that I thought was kind of cool and kind of fun that I just wanted to throw together anyways. And so what this does is it allows you to convert a Twitter post into a nice, beautiful screenshot. So let's take a look at what that looks like here. We could take this and using Blotato, we could go ahead and upload this to whatever social media platform it is that you want, such as Instagram. And so all these tools, other than Common API, which costs you know $10 to get started in Blotato, which costs money to integrate into NADN, are completely for free. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about here is Quick Charts. Actually, we got two more. Now with Quick Charts, what's really cool is that you can automatically generate multiple different types of charts. Like for instance, this bar chart here. You can also generate donut charts or line charts, pie charts, polar charts. And so these are just actually a couple of the different integrations that you have access to. But if you go over to their main page here, there's like literally an infinite amount of charts. Most of these I had no idea even existed. Um, but yeah, there's just an infinite amount of possibilities here that you can essentially choose from. And what you do here is you just use their API on their page here. So you go to quickchart.io. And if you go there, they have a quick starter guide on how you can get this set up. You could probably just chat GPT and they'll tell you exactly what to do. But yeah, super easy and free way to create all of these dynamic charts automatically through NADN. Now, the last thing that I wanna talk about here is a tool called Exa, which is very similar to Firecrawl, but it's like AI search. So let's go ahead, execute this and walk through every single step here. The first one is, is of course, you can search different, you can search the internet for different queries. So for example, top AI trends for 2026, it will go ahead and pull out all of these different listings for us over here, okay? Now we can take it a step further. And one thing that I really like about this is you can find similar links. So instead of just going ahead and web scraping all of this content, what you can do is you can pass in a URL over here. So let's go ahead and copy this URL and take a look. We can pass in a URL just like this. And we can say, hey, Exa, do you mind? It's funny, I said that like I was talking to Siri there, but hey, Exa, can you find different similar, or can you find similar results on the internet? And so what it can do is it can find similarly related URLs without even web scraping it. So for instance, it can pull out this article that says intelligent agents in AI really can work alone. Here's how. Another example down here could be something like this. So we'll pull in one more result here. 40% of enterprise apps will feature task-specific AI agents in 2026. And then one more maybe by Deloitte, which um, is gonna take its sweet time to load and say, stay in the know, AI trends and early predictions for 2026. And it can also give you a score too on how related this article is to the article that you are searching from. And so that's pretty cool to have that relationship score to see how similar things are. And the last thing with Exa too is that you can actually create research tasks from within NADN. So I could say, for instance, I want you to find me top, the top five trends in AI agents in 2026, and it will go ahead, scour the internet and be able to respond to this particular instruction that you gave it and give you back the top five trends in AI agents in 2026 based on the results that it finds online. And so those are the top 10 different apps that I want to cover today in this video. I hope you found value in it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you guys are looking to learn more about NADN and automation, you can take a look, first of all, at my YouTube channel. There's lots of free blueprints there, but if you wanna learn more in depth, you can take a look at my school community, which has three outcomes. Number one is to learn these tools so you can apply it to your life to make more money and save more time. The next outcome is for those of you looking to 
to create your own AI automation agency. And what I help people do is find, close, and fulfill their first client within one month or less, and then repeat the process. And there's just tons of people in this community that have accomplished that. This is just a few of the many, many, many results. And the last outcome here is for those of you looking to create your own or automate your own business. And so essentially what I do is give you the exact blueprints that allowed me to scale the seven figures, automate up to 80% of my business with copy, paste, and deployable blueprints that you can literally insert into your business immediately. Again, this has worked for a lot of other people as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.